what time is it and what time is it? Let me tell you now, it is the DW World Equity Times. From now onwards, every Monday, 9 a.m., 10 minutes is all you need to spend with us. And on every Monday morning, we're going to pick a powerful stock and it may come from Singapore markets, Malaysia markets, Hong Kong markets, China markets, US or UK markets. And we call this the OTOP 1910. One target, one purpose, Monday, 9 a.m. and 10 minutes. Be forewarned, we are not recommending any stocks, but it could be a very powerful stocks or very potential commodity counter for that particular week. So stay tuned and what you're gonna do next is every Monday, 9 a.m. just locked on and watch us. Stay tuned and be our fan. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back to the OTOP episode 12 for the week 19 October year 2020. And for the past 11 weeks, we have shared a lot of uh, instruments and trading products that come from almost half of the world. And most of them have been moving as what we predicted. But then again, we want to share a very important message here. And that is, whatever that you do, once you made an entry into the market, always remember to put a stop loss a risk control behind your entry just in case if the market reverses due to any unexpected market fundamentals and today for the week 19 october year 2020 we are going to share a very interesting stock that is listed and trading in the hong kong exchange so are you ready if you are ready then follow us Ta -da! Well, this is the Hong Kong stock code 0981, which is a Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. In short, we call it the SMIC. Well, if we look at the uh, day chart here, we are starting with the day chart again. Well, what we discover here is the technical momentum seems to be rather strong and resilient. All right, on last Friday, the market closed at about... Um, $19.96 which is close to 20 Hong Kong dollars but uh, we also realized that the price have been coincidence with the convergence of all the EMA lines which namely they are the EMA 4 days, EMA 20 days and EMA 200 days so with a very strong convergence here what happened is if this week the momentum from here turns up and move up again there will be a very strong push of the market prices possibly going higher above $25 so this is something that uh, uh, we find it very interesting and we want all of you all right all of you to take note and from the day chart let us scale down to the four hour chart or we call it 240 minutes okay what you see here is uh, perhaps if um, the half day on Monday, 19 October, if there's a small drawback, uh, well, we would think that um, anywhere at $19, Hong Kong dollars, all right, would be a very strong support. But if you happen to take out a position here, in any case, well, the market prices should not go back down below 18, which I believe you should remove your long view. Then again, if the market happens to go into what we forecast this week, especially when it goes above this purple line, which is the EMA 200 averaging line on a 4-hour chart, I think that is when the bull market will take off. Well, from the 4-hour chart, let's uh, move back to the day chart. And uh, once again, we want you to imagine and try to visualize if the market has got more potential on the up room or more potential on the down room well let's take a look at the financials here okay um smic which is listed in hong kong has got 153 billion hong kong dollars market cap and that is close to about 20 billion us dollars all right 
and uh, as we move down here very quickly very quickly less than 10 minutes we're going to show you some very important things well the uh, PE ratio is uh, 33.4 which is in line with the market here well future growth is still looking good as usual we always want to move down very quickly and take a look at the uh, well return on equity is four percent compared to the industry seven percent but we have got a strong market momentum here for this week and uh, once again we move down here well debt is well controlled on the uh, short-term asset covering the short-term liabilities and the long-term asset uh, covers well on the long-term liabilities and for the debt itself uh, very well controlled all right the debt to equity ratio is at 26 percent all right at 26.3 percent which i think uh, this is very uh, um, accommodate accommodating well in the company's financials and next but not least let's move down to the dividend here all right we are not near to the dividend date but uh, everything is uh, looking good here all right there's no special negativity on this stock here so this week we believe that the bull market that comes into smic if it happens as what we forecast is simply out of technical momentum and a recovery from um, the down move since july and august all right so it's time to to see some recovery and and the new long traders picking up this smic in the market so this week 19 october year 2020 the otop episode 12 and it stands for one target one purpose all right we hope that um, all of you will like this video and don't forget to like this definitely subscribe to us and um, next week otop 13 we'll come back with something more important on Malaysia's Busa market and we promise you on that. Stay tuned with us next week and we shall be back.